Hey guys, welcome to another recent viewing video, and uh, this is for a movie I just got done watching, uh, I guess about an hour and a half ago, uh, and was going to sit straight down and do this video for it, and then I got distracted by games, but anyway, this movie was called White Bird in a Blizzard, um, kind of under the radar little movie, uh, I don't think it had a major theatrical release. Um, but I remember reading something about it online a couple months ago, and then it came out, <clears throat> it came out a few weeks ago, I'm not exactly sure when, and anyway, I was kind of curious to watch it because, mainly because of Shailene Woodley, who, I don't know, I just like her, I've seen Divergent, I've seen uh, The Fault in Our Stars, and this movie, and maybe... Maybe something else that she's done. Uh, no, actually, to be honest, no. Because her filmography really only in has <laughs> two other movies, The Spectacular Now and The Descendants. I haven't seen either one of those. And then the upcoming Insurgent, uh, the second in the Divergent movies. Anyway, like I said, I just, I, I'm kind of into her, and uh, I wanted to see this movie. Boy, was it a doozy. And that's both kind of like good and bad. I enjoyed the movie quite a bit. But don't get me wrong. But it, had, it was so twisty and turny and, and different stuff. And and sort of a shocking reveal near the end of the movie. Uh, a couple of, of like shocking twists near the end of the movie. But, but there was a big one in particular. Which I guess it was just, you know, kind of a surprise. Oh, okay. Wow, really? But the the best part of the movie to me were I guess the the over and undertones of the movie. Uh it seemed like it was kind of a movie about just this teenage girl who was kind of discovering herself, especially in matters of the flesh, like sexual awakening losing a bunch of weight in her early teens and suddenly becoming desirable and and her exploring that in her world but the other the other part of it that that kind of caught me off guard was uh, like the depth to the story of her parents and what was going on in their life i mean the the driving part of the movie is that her mom up and disappears one day and it seems like perhaps she just took off just split just said I've I've had enough of this fuck this I'm out and so you get a lot of flashbacks to the mom and interactions and stuff and her being a pretty decent mom when her daughter was a kid and but then her starting to lose patience with her mundane trivial life and uh, and feeling very trapped and smothered in in this this world that exists for her. And in the meantime, the dad, the, the the dad the whole time is depicted as being like this very closed off, kind of emotionally stunted, almost like he was a kid himself when he's at home, just kind of giving in to everything that that's going on with his wife. Not a lot of like scenes throughout the movie depicting him in any other way but well except for there was one where the uh, younger version of Shailene's character uh, goes to his uh, work one day and all of a sudden at work he's like this player he's real kind of smooth and all the ladies in the office are all you know, fawning over him and winking at him and just, it was kind of weird. It just didn't seem to fit. Uh, a lot of a lot of the characterization of the father, in my opinion, didn't seem to fit. May have been the the uh, the the weak link of the movie for me was just the way that dad was. All these different people that just didn't seem to really make sense. Not to personalities and, and things like that with people always fit, but in a movie it seemed like it would have made more sense um, for him to 
be a certain way. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not thinking outside the box. But anyway, Dad was was interesting. He's played by uh, was it Christopher Maloney? I've gotten off my game here. Christopher Maloney, yeah, who I, I'm I mainly know him from being in yeah Law and Order Special Victims Unit, and he's been on a lot of other stuff. But he's very, very different in this role. And then Eva Green plays the mom. Eva Green's pretty pretty awesome. I like uh, stuff that she's done. I saw her in, uh, I think it was the first Bond movie with Daniel Craig. And recently in the uh, 300 uh, sequel. And in a lot of other stuff. Thomas Jane was in this movie. Here's a guy who I feel is kind of like, seems like recently... He's gotten a bit of the shaft. He just hasn't had a lot of the big movies uh, in the last, I don't know, at least five plus years. Yeah, just even just barely looking at some of the stuff that he's done recently. It's a guy who could have been, you know, killing it out there. But he had an interesting role in this one. Maybe his interaction with the daughter was kind of unexpected. Or maybe I expected more from that and not. I don't want to give too much away of, of the movie. And I'm probably not giving away enough to make people interested in it. But it, it was good. It was very interesting. Like I said, the twists were there. It's sort of a mystery. And uh, it's a lot of different things. But it, it was good. I, I liked it. Overall, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. So I uh, wasn't uh, disappointed you know, didn't feel like that was a wasted rental to uh, check this this movie out. White bird in a blizzard. So anyway, that's about all I got to say about it. Uh, decent movie. Shailene Woodley, pretty good. Uh, interesting story. Interesting twists, for sure. Um, and I guess that'll wrap it up for now. I'm looking forward, very, very forward to the next movie I'm going to get to watch. I don't know if that'll be tomorrow or if it'll be... Wednesday, but uh, it's a it's a big movie for me that I've been waiting on. So anyway, we'll get to that when I get to it, and that's that. Uh, blah, 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 blah.